Mrs. Muffin here, and I'm ready to make some art with you. Before we start art class, as usual, we're gonna make sure that we're mentally and physically ready to create some art. How are you feeling? Are you feeling stressed out, happy, sad? Do you feel like making art right now? What do you need to do in order to feel like being creative? I suggest that we start with something that we always have with us, our breath. Let's start by taking a deep breath in through our nose and then releasing it out of our mouth. Almost like you're blowing out some candles. Take a few breaths if you need to and keep doing it until you feel calm and ready. If you need to go to the bathroom, have a snack, or do anything else to be ready for art, now's your chance. Now let's make sure our physical space is ready. Is our desk cleared off? Do we have plenty of room to make art? Today, as usual, you're gonna need a piece of paper. And like I mentioned last time, everybody's paper is going to be different because we're at home learning right now. I'm using a thick piece of watercolor paper, but some students might use art notebooks, computer paper, lined paper. It's whatever you have available to you to use for art. Next, you'll need a pencil and an eraser. They can be connected like this pencil with the eraser on the end or they can be separate. The last thing you're going to need is something to make your art colorful. Again, because we're at home learning, everybody's going to be using different supplies depending on what they have available to them. You can use crayons, color pencils, markers, and last, some of you might have watercolor paints. If you have permission and help from grown-ups at home, you are also allowed to use watercolor paints. The goal for our lesson today is to create art inspired by the way we feel. We're gonna learn more about something called being present, and then we're going to create art inspired by that. To start, we're gonna read a book, Happy Right Now. If you're watching this on Canvas, I'm about to read this whole book to you. If you're watching on YouTube, you can still do the art lesson without it, but I definitely recommend finding this book. It's awesome. You might be able to find it on YouTube, or on an online library, or in a real library. While I'm reading this book, I want you to look for inspiration for your art project. What kind of colors do they use? What kind of images and style? What kind of things could you draw in your picture? I hope you liked the book, Happy Right Now. Before I read the book, I mentioned that we were gonna learn a little bit more about being present. Being present is just a fancy way of saying, rather than worry about the future or the past or what you want, be happy with what you have and where you are and what's happening right now. A lot of stressful stuff is happening in the world right now, and we can feel very overwhelmed by what we wish was happening. We can feel sad about the fact that we're not in school or that we can't see our friends, but being happy right now, being present, means we look for the good with what we do have. Inspired by this idea of celebrating the now and enjoying the present, we are going to make portraits of ourselves doing just that. A portrait is just a fancy way of saying a picture of somebody. If it's a self-portrait, like a selfie, it's a picture of you. If it's just a regular portrait, it's a picture of somebody else. For example, here's a self-portrait that I did of myself. It's like a selfie that I drew. Portraits don't always have to be just of somebody standing or sitting there. The person could be doing something. Here's an example of some self-portraits I drew and painted of myself doing yoga and standing there. In the book, Happy Right Now, we see the main character doing lots of things, and that's what we're looking for. We're going to do pictures of ourselves doing different things that we enjoy and being present. Here's an example of her being present out in the snow and having fun getting wet and playing in the puddles. And here we see her happy and snuggled up in her bed, enjoying being cozy and warm. But in the book, sometimes she's not happy and that's okay too. Do we always have to feel happy and wonderful? No, we're humans. Sometimes we feel sad or upset and that's okay too. And if you wanna include pictures of that in your drawing, that's okay too. I really enjoy this example of her sitting and doing some deep breathing, just like we did at the beginning of this lesson. In through her nose, out through her mouth. Okay, what's the first thing we always do to our paper when we start a new lesson? We turn it over and write our name, our teacher's name, 
and if you want, the date. Don't write Laura, that's my name. And don't write teacher, write your teacher's name. You can ask a grown-up for help with this because I know it's the beginning of the year and some of us are still learning how to do this. When I draw a person, I usually start with the head. I do a round circle shape and I use pencil so I can erase it if I need to. Lots of drawings of you dancing, laying down, having fun, doing whatever you want to do in your picture that makes you happy. Remember, being happy right now. I drew myself in all different sizes, with my hair in braids or my hair down, it's really big and curly. And then I'm going to also fill in my background with lots of color. I'm going to outline my picture in marker so it's easier to see on the video, but you do not have to outline your picture in marker. That's just one way to do it.
you enjoyed this lesson based on the story, Happy Right Now. Don't forget to share your art with your teacher. You can have a grown up take a picture of your art with your phone and email it to your teacher or to me. I'd love to see the art you're working on and I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, no matter how you're feeling, happy or sad, take a deep breath in and out and be happy right now. Thank you.